Hello everyone, in this video, we will discuss how to use reuse block. In project design, you may encounter circuits that are frequently reused, such as the 5 volt to 3.3 volt LDO circuit in this schematic. For circuits like these that are commonly needed across different projects, you can create a reuse block to package the circuit into a block. This eliminates the need to redraw the circuit repeatedly. To create a reuse block, go to File, New, Reuse Block. In the description, you can provide detailed information about the block, such as AMS 3117, 3.3V SOT89, max input 12V. In the newly created interface, the design process for a reuse block is the same as for a standard PCB project, including creating the schematic and PCB layout. You can copy the desired reusable circuit for another project and paste it into the reuse block schematic. Since the input of the reuse block is flexible, change the circuits plus 5 volts to input. Then click Design, Update Convert Schematic to PCB or use the shortcut Alt-I to convert the schematic to a PCB. In the PCB Design view, you can arrange the PCB layout for the reuse block. After finishing the PCB layout, return to the reuse block schematic view to define the module's inputs and outputs. For the LDO circuit, the inputs include voltage input and GND, and the output is voltage output. Place two input net labels and one output net label, and connect them to input GND and plus 3.3 volts using short flag. Once the input and output definition are complete, click the Generate Update Block symbol button. You will see that the reuse block interface generates three ports similar to schematic symbols. Arrange the block layout as you would for a schematic symbol. After completing the layout, save the reuse block. Return to your project. In the bottom left corner, go to Library, Reuse Block, Personal to find a newly created reuse block. Expand and select the block. Then click Place Block symbol on the right to place it. After placement, you can replace the original LDO circuit with the reuse block. Once the changes are made, update the PCB and you will see that the LDO section in the PCB follows the PCB layout defined in the reuse block. After placing a reuse block, you will notice a new reuse block board section on the left. If you need to modify the reuse block, you can click it in the left panel to edit it directly. However, keep in mind that edits made here will only apply to the current project. For global modification, you must edit the reuse block from the library in the bottom left corner. After making changes, update the project by selecting Design Update Project Library. That concludes the tutorial on reuse block. See you next time.